On February 4th, we held a symposium that addressed advances in neuroscience and how that might portend, compel, and sustain a non-speciesist neuroethic as it relates to animal research, responsibilities in research, and perhaps animal care and welfare more broadly, the, the social agenda. These issues are in some ways provocative and in many ways contentious because there are a variety of different opinions, certainly scientifically and then also more, more broadly socioculturally on, on the whole relationality issue that's being well informed by neuroscience and that is a hallmark of neuroethics. I think the take home message is that we've improved the overall state and condition of animal welfare and our perspective to animal research overwhelmingly. One of the important issues that arose was that the proverbial three R's, the refinement, the reduction, and the replacement of animals and research paradigms, is moving ahead at a measured yet appreciable pace, based in part upon a variety of different uh, advancements in other fields of science, including but not limited to other fields of biotechnology, inclusive of nanotechnology and, and, and genetics. However, I think one of the other messages that was very important is that those three R's are not standalones that we also need an increased respect both for the knowledge, what it provides for us, as well as the subject of that knowledge, this is say animals as sentient and painted creatures. And I think we're doing that. The field by its nature, I think, as I said, is, is provocative and contentious. And entertaining these various viewpoints and perspectives is certainly one of the things that we're looking to do, not something we would shy away from. Our goal now is to move forward, to have a broader discourse and dialectic. So I think the subsequent symposia will entertain participants from the veterinary community, broader participants from the research community, and I think a broader as well as more finely grained look at some of the neuroethical issues, not only as they impact the science, but as they impact society at large with the notion of animal welfare, conduct, and then how that portends socioeconomic change as well.